the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Biggs, for five minutes. Thank you. It's uh, good to have you here. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate your courage and, and your willingness to testify. Um, I'm, uh, Mr. Shapley, I'm going to go to pages 18 through 20 of your testimony. And, and Mr. Ziegler, I'm going to go to about page 104 to 105 of yours to start with. And, but while you're going there, I'm going to ask this question. You know, we've heard a lot about this. Well, you know, this 2014, 2015, uh, 2016 tax things, you know, uh, Trump, uh, Trump, you know, it's, they, we've heard a lot about Trump. There, but in 2014, 15, and 16, those tax years, Donald Trump wasn't elected, but who was the Vice President of the United States, if you know? Joe, uh, Joe Biden was the right. Vice President of the United States. I think that's right. And when the statute of limitation ran on those 14 and 15 years, who was the President of the United States so when the statute expired? So, so that was President Biden. Under President Biden. Well, there's some indicia in, in the statements and testimony that you made uh, that I want to go over. Uh, Mr. Shapley, why did you want to interview Rob Walker? So I, I think Special Agent Ziegler would be better to answer that question. All right. So I'm looking on page 18 of your, of your, of your testimony, Mr. Shapley. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, let's, I, I'll tell you what, I'll rephrase the question. The, uh, on the, the day of action, you guys were intending to interview 12 people, one of whom was Rob Walker, a, a business associate of Hunter Biden. Um, and in particular, you wanted to talk about, uh, I think the quote is, 10 held for, by H for the big guy, yeah. right? Um, so what... Who was the big? Who did you infer that the big guy may be? So, all I can do is speak to the evidence there. What I can say is, I think I know what you're referring to is when we're preparing for that, we're preparing for that interview, and we're referencing that email ten held by H for the big guy, and from what I understand, that to be President, his dad, President Biden. Okay. Um, and so I'm sorry, I just want to ask Mr. Shapley uh, a similar question because the AUSA, AUSA Wolf interjected, and I'm reading from your transcript now, and said she did not want to ask about the big guy and stated she did not want to ask questions about dad, quote, in quotes. Who did, you, who did you take dad to be when she refers to dad? The, the father of the subject is President Biden. President Biden. And so even by her response... She's inferring that Joe Biden may be involved in Hunter Biden's transactions. Um, and then you get to the FBI agent, and, and you give some detail about his, his uh, uh, Mr. Shapley, you give some detail about what he is saying and, and, and the transcript, if you will, of his interview. And in particular, um, the FBI agent asks Mr. Walker, so you definitely got the feeling that that was orchestrated by Hunter Biden to have like an appearance by his dad at that meeting just to kind of bolster your chances of making the deal work out? Walker answered, sure. The FBI agent continued, any times he, he was in the office or did you hear Hunter Biden say that he was setting up a meeting with his dad with him while dad was still in office? Walker answered, yes. That's the quote that you gave to us in your transcript. And so I guess the question there is, uh, what did you infer uh, that the, and then you said the FBI agent inexplicably does, ceases that line of questioning. I want to know what you thought the FBI agent uh, was inferring. What did you think? What do you think when you read that, when you heard that, uh, of the relationship between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and his business transactions when he is still in office? Yeah, so I can't go beyond what you've, what you've quoted me as saying in my testimony, um, so I just leave it there. Okay, thank you. Um, and Mr. Ziegler, on page one, page one hundred four of yours, uh, you mentioned that there, that that Mr. Bi Mr. Biden, uh, Hunter Biden, attempted to um, obtain a business tax deduction on his return for hotel rooms that were used by his father, Joe Biden. Uh, tell us about that, please. So yeah, the, on his tax return, he deducted a hotel room for his dad. 
uh, so Joe Biden, um, and we actually got the invoice from the hotel that showed the dad's name on it. So, so for that to be a valid business deduction, you would ha he would have to be doing business with Hunter Biden. Is that not true? So we would typically, a typical part of the process would be to interview that person to find out what you had or what, what might have happened. Why did you why did you go to that hotel room? Um, and based on statements he made in his book, I mean, you can correlate to what was kind of going on around that time. But, but, but to, how does it become a valid business deduction if, uh, if Joe Biden's just there on vacation? You know, generally speaking, the, the, to be a valid business deduction, it would have to be some type of business activity being conducted at that time. And uh, uh, the last one is the WhatsApp. Um, and I won't get into it because we're, we're just about out of time, but I would just say the WhatsApp where he says he's sitting, my dad's sitting next to me, and you remember that, and that, that's on, I want to say, what, page 105. That's where you talk about it, Mr. Ziegler, and what page 105 of your transcript. Uh, I guess the question there is, how would you be able to determine uh, whether those rooms, uh, whether he was actually next to, to Hunter Biden, how would you be able to determine that? And, and, and the gentleman time's expired, but you can please answer the question. So typically in that situation, you'd want to get location data, it's contemporaneous data that would show where that person's at. So that's what we would typically look to. That's right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, Chair now recognize Ms. Lee from Pennsylvania. Do you all, were you all ever given access to the forum 1023 that alleged Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were a part of a bribery scheme with Ukraine. The, the, the reason I ask that is because that allegation is consistent. The way that uh, the oligarch claimed he gave the Bidens the bribe is consistent with what we've seen in Romania and other countries where they set up all these shell companies and then they launder the money uh, through the shell companies back down to different Biden family members. So I, I wondered if you knew about that form before it became public. So I can speak to that. So in my original transcript, um, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to say that I knew anything about 1023, but I provided a supplement after I saw open source information from the former Attorney General Bill Barr that said that he saw this, this document and they sent it to Delaware for further investigation and uh, the, 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 the team, as, as far to the best of my knowledge, never saw that document. So the team that was in charge of investigating the Biden family for tax crimes never received the FBI document that alleged Joe Biden was involved in a bribery scheme? Yeah. For the IRS investigators on the case, the answer is no. Is that, un is that odd? I, I mean, everybody knew you were investigating the Bidens for at least tax evasion. Generally speaking, if there's any types of money coming in and there's an, a criminal tax investigation ongoing, I don't see how that inf information could be withheld from the investigators. And I, and I can tell you, and I can pr provide this in my testimony, but like there is things that are contained on that document that could further corroborate other information that we might be having an issue corroborating because it could be regarding a foreign official. Wow. So if we have information regarding that in a document or a witness, we can further corroborate later evidence. And like I said, if that's something that we have, we can turn that over to the House Ways and Means Committee. Thank you.